All right, from the theater to your recliner, we are getting a breakdown of the most popular movies this weekend. Yeah, Renee's here live to tell us what's number one at the box office. Hey, Renee, how are you? How hey, was your Renee. weekend? Hey guys, my weekend was great and great job at your fundraiser Friday. And I know everybody at Channel 3 was out at the parade yesterday. We were too. What a weekend of events, right? Oh and my gosh. Goodness. Yeah, it was a little windy at the parade, but for the most part, the weather cooperated. Yeah, it looks great. It looked like so much fun. Good. Awesome. All right. So tell us what's new. I told you guys about this movie on Friday, and Civil War was number one at the box office. Really? We can now, it didn't make a lot of money, uh, just over $25 million in its debut at the North American box office. Godzilla versus Kong, the new Empire grabbed second with just oh, under $16 million. And uh, yeah, so it was, you could see the top five right there. Ghostbusters did well. And then you've got Kung Fu Panda. And rounding out the five, we've got Dune Part 2. <laughs> Dude, that Dune Part 2, man. It, it just won't go away. I know. I didn't even know Dune Part 1. but the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but then again, I don't watch a lick of TV other than just what we do here. Well, and what, <laughs> Kung, Kung Fu Panda? What, what was that one? Is that an animation? Oh my gosh, that's like a huge. That's that's the yeah. fourth one. It's huge. And it was number one at the box office for quite a few weeks. Oh, that's excellent. Good. My for brother saw Civil War last night. I didn't get the rundown of how it was, but it's. he, he said that I do know when he pulled in, it was completely packed, like the parking lot. And oh. how nice that we're seeing like that resurgence, resurgence of the right. movie theaters exactly. being so packed again for, <laughs> for this. All right. What was popular on streaming? So streaming was an interesting weekend, you guys. Um, Bob Marley, One Love, was number one on uh, many, many platforms, and people streamed it uh, uh, not only domestically, but globally as well. Um, but what the, the, and that was on Paramount Plus if you wanted to watch that. But Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal, as I was telling you guys yeah. about, it is breaking all kinds of records for really? Amazon Prime. It was, it, it's the reboot of the classic Patrick Swayze movie. People are absolutely. Absolutely loving it. I think Scott's loving it right now too. Can we re-loop the video? <laughs> Re-rack. Re-rack. <laughs> well, you know, I that is such a classic, and to remake it with such big names, I kind of feel like that was. I don't know. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, I'm not surprised by right? it either. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then, um, Renee, we understand there's a Chris oh. Farley movie in the works. What do we know about that? that yeah, this is exciting. Everyone is talking about, first of all, he was one of the most beloved people from yeah. Saturday Night Live. A tragic death, very funny man, died before his time. <laughs> and Lorne Michaels, of course, from Saturday Night Live is going to be producing this movie. And Paul Walter Hauser is, is set to play him in the biopic. And um, it's going to be based on Chris Farley's brother's book, The Chris Farley Show, a biography in three acts. Um, Josh Gad is going to direct it. If you don't know who the actor is, he was in movies such as I, Tanya, Cruella, a Golden Globe and Emmy. He won, he actually won awards for his uh, 2022 miniseries, The Blackbird Project. But um, it's being shopped around Hollywood right now. They don't have any buyers. They think this is not going to be a problem. But fans, when this broke over the weekend, people were trending Chris Farley. And you might have seen some memes or funny clips, a, a resurfacing of Saturday Night Live old skits with Chris Farley, who is just the funniest man on the planet, yeah, I thought. Yeah, I know. There's really no one like him. He's like in his own category. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and we understand absolutely. that Josh um, is the voice of Olaf from Frozen? Yes, that's true. Right. And he's going to direct this. Oh, yeah. he's going to direct it. Mm -hmm. right. Really fascinating. All right, how's Wolfgang? Wolfgang is doing great. I was just on vacation last week, so we went to Ham and Asset Beach. Oh. We went for rides. We played in obstacle courses. We ate a sandwich on the beach together. It was literally just so much fun. My husband, Sal, didn't have the week off, so, so Wolfie and I did day tripping across the state. <laughs> Isn't well, that great? Sometimes both parents don't get off for April break, but it's nice you got to spend some time with your boy. You a little Wolfie. <laughs> I love that you said that. <laughs> hey, there's still tickets available for the uh, Bristol Boys and Girls Club that I'm going to be hosting at the AquaTurf. It's this Saturday, okay. so if you're interested, you can go to Imagination. Oh. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary. Wow. Yeah, so they're going to be celebrating. I'm the MC. It's at the Aqua Turf. You're going to get a great meal. You're going to have a lot of fun. And come on out and say hello. Again, go to Imagination. Uh, oh. I, I'm not sure if it's .org or .com, but you can just Google it, and then yeah. it'll come up there. Great so It's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. And, and guess who your co-host is going to be for that night? 
Are you? I thought you said you weren't. Are you coming? I'm your. I am your co-host. I am. How I'm going to be on stage with you, my friend. Oh, that's so Aww. exciting! I'm so glad to learn that. Well, I'm sorry I can't come. My mom is celebrating a birthday, so I need to go visit her. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, she's not, is it a big? No, no. not a big one yet. She's one year behind me. Yeah, she is. All right, Renee, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, we'll see you. Renee. I'll see you, see you, see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. And Hollywood then Saturday. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a look at what